Hi all, in this tutorial you will learn how to use the JavaScript array reduce method to reduce an array to an value. Okay, suppose you have an array of numbers like this. Okay, so I've created a sample array and you want to calculate the total of element of the array. Typically you use the for loop to iterate over the elements and add them up as shown in the following example. Okay. So what will the traditional method? So you will define a variable called sum, okay, sum, and initiate it to zero. Then we basically use you for loop, and what we define in the for loop is like let high equal to zero, I'll less than the numbers dot length, okay i plus plus so this is a traditional way which we use and then we sum it up okay so it will be sum we'll add it up number of i so this is a traditional way and what we get in the output is console if i get the output right of the sum so it should give me the sum of all the numbers over there. Let's try to run it out. I will run it out. And as you can see, the output we got is six. So what we did over there, the script is simple and straightforward. First, declare array with three numbers, one, two, three over here. Second, declare the sum a variable and set its value to zero. Third, in the for loop, Add up the elements of the number array to the sum variable. After the loop, the value of the sum variable is six. Okay, what we have done was to reduce an array into a value. The array type provides a method called reduce that helps you to reduce an array into a single value. So how we can use it? So we can say this as a traditional method. Well, for loop method so let's have a look into how we can achieve the same using and loop function uh, and reduce function okay so it will be like we'll use the same array as a part of example so i will take let sum sum one i will give okay equal to numbers so we have to take first the array on which we have to define the reduce function then it will be reduce okay then we can define the definition of the function so it will be function so you can define two attributes over there i will explain those attributes um, in a short time okay so we can use q letter Com and the second attribute will be current. So current we can say as a current value. Okay. And I will define the body for this function. So it should return accumulator plus current. Okay. Let's try to run this out and hope we'll get the same similar output. Okay. If I do console dot log now and if I get the sum one I will give it in a proper formatting so it will be easy to understand so if I give sum one plus sum one so it should also give me six so as you can see we got the first values for sum is also six and for someone we got six okay it's pretty simple isn't it let's take a look at the reduce method in more detail okay the following the following illustration is the syntax of the reduce method so if i want to format it out so i will give you the syntax syntax is array dot reduce the reduce plus initial value the reduce method takes two argument a reducer callback function and an optional initial value the reducer method calls the reducer function for every element in the array 
okay the reducer function returns a value which is accumulated result and this provide this result is provided as an argument in the next call to the reducer function the reducer function has the fall following arguments okay the reducer function you can have okay so the reducer function have four argument the first argument is accumulator the value returned from the previous call of the reducer function if you pass the initial value of the the reduce function when the reducer function is executed for the first time the accumulator requests the initial value so it's the initial value which you pass the second attribute is current value the value of the array element in the current iteration okay this is the current value the third is the current index so it's the current index of the uh, of the array okay so here it will be for the 0 1 2 okay in that in the similar way and the fourth attribute is the array so that is the original array which needs to be reduced okay the reduce function executes on each elements and returns a value this return value is assigned to the accumulator argument in each iteration at the final iteration the value of the accumulator becomes the single returning value this this must be clear to you right so let's look for let's look to some complex example okay i will comment this out so suppose that you have a follow, you have a json array of a shopping cart i will like this okay so suppose you have a json array of the shopping cart which includes product quantity and price okay to calculate the total amount of product in the shopping cart you use you can use the reduce function like this okay so it will be pretty simple and easy so it will be let i will give total equal to shopping cart the original array dot reduce okay we can define the function on the same function it will accept two value i will give acc dot cur accumulator and current and now we can define the body for the function so we want return cc plus its accumulator the initial value plus current dot quantity okay into price okay dot price so it should give as the entire it should give us the total amount of the shopping cart okay so i will give you a brief revise so there is a array called shopping cart which is to attribute product quantity and price and now we want to calculate the total price of the shopping cart okay so what we did we passed an accumulator value as 0 okay and current quantity and what we are doing we are taking the quantity of each product multiplying it with the price and we are adding it to the accumulator okay if i do console dot log now log now and i will give it shop pink card price okay so it should give total and if i execute this code now you can see over here the shopping cart price comes out to be 790 196 okay let's take one more example okay in terms of average so suppose you have an array of currency okay have of okay so suppose you have as constant array of currency i'll comment this above code so it will be easy to understand i will share this code with you at the end of the tutorial 
so i have an array, array of euros with 29.76 41.85 .7, .7, and 46.5 now if i want to uh, calculate the average for this using the radius function so how i will i can define it as like i will define what's first constant and i will give it a name as average okay now the similar approach will you will first take the original array on which uh, we have to process and then i will use radius and then we'll pass the attributes okay so in the attribute it will be like total total comma amount comma index so i am taking all the four parameters in this example index array okay now what we'll do we'll define we'll use the arrow function which is introduced in es6 so it's like you want to do with these attributes so we can define a function body for the same so it will be total amount total we will first add up some of the amount okay then what we'll do if index so we are checking miss if if it's went through all and the entire array okay so we will check array dot length so you know the uh, length is calculated the array start from zero and the length is calculated plus one miss from one right so we'll do array length minus one and if it has already completed the iteration through all the elements of the array then we'll be like written total divided by the length of the array means number of elements we have in that array okay if it's not then what we'll do else we will simply return total okay isn't it easy to understand so now let's try to run this out hope it work log i will give it as average okay and we will give it as average okay if we run this out i will clear the outputs console output and if we run it out you can see the average turned out to be 39.37 okay in this way we use reduce instead of for loop uh, to get it easily done uh, if you want to sum up if you want to convert an array into a single value hope this uh, tutorial was useful to you and thank you and have a nice day